Hola, and welcome to Superhero 101. I'm Marvelette, your host for the next half hour. Take a few moments to prepare as we enter into Chapter 10, The Man Who Knew. criminal who calls himself the Eagle is plotting against the directors of an airplane factory whom he has tried to frighten with warnings written on the sky in smoke and fire. The directors have reason to suspect that the Eagle is Nathan Gregory, owner of a small carnival show, who has accused them of stealing from him an invention worth a fortune. A bill of sale on which the directors base their claim to the invention has been mysteriously stolen. But Craig McCoy, stunt flyer with the carnival, has traced the theft to one of the directors named Green. I thought sure the troop would keep the show going. Well, what's the matter? Why isn't the show going on? The show's closed, Skipper. This measly double-crosser has clapped an attachment on it for the two weeks of pay uh, Mr. Gregory? Yes. Good night. You rat. Hey, Sheriff. You forgot your hat. Give it to me. Wise guy. Oh! Never mind, Daddy. We'll get the show back somehow. But it's... It's all I had. No, it isn't, Mr. Gregory. You're still the inventor of an aeroplane attachment that's making a fortune. Yes, for the directors of the Evans Airplane Company. Yes, but Major Evans is on our side now. What good does that do? Plenty. Green turned off those lights and snatched that bill of sale away from you because it's a forgery. And I'm going to prove that to Major Evans. But what good does that do, Father? Well, when Major Evans knows that Green's claim is a fake, you'll recognize your father's rights and give him a square deal. You could buy a dozen carnivals then, Dad. I'm leaving in a minute to go after that bill of sale. 
And I think with your help, we can get it. You can always count on me, brother. Sure. <laughs> well, now, here's what we'll do. Well, Skipper, I think our troubles are about over. Come on, Henry. I'm glad you've come. I'm tired of running from the law. The directors have withdrawn their charges against you, Gregory. It's Craig McCoy we want. He's not here. Okay, but he's on his way here, and we'll wait till he comes. Major Evans to see you, sir. Have you got the bill of sale, Green? Why, what makes you think oh, that? come on, don't stall. We've got to work fast. Gregory and his gang are on their way here to get it right now. crazy to take that out of there. They'll never know where to look for the safe. They'll ransack the whole house. Don't take any chances. McCoy! Housebreaking, huh? Phone the police, Major. The line's dead. Somebody's cut the wire. Oh, yeah. Why did you come sneaking into my house? To get the bill of sale. Hmm. I see. And how did you plan to get that bill of sale? Well, I figured on getting in here and finding out where the safe is. And you'll admit I accomplished that much. Yeah. And then, well, then I planned to knock the vase over so that you'd come running in. And that worked out all right. All right, go on, keep talking. Well, my next move was to keep you talking while my partner got into the next room and sneaked the bill of sale out of the safe. And we seem to have accomplished that, too. Uh, a trick, eh? Bring him in here. <laughs> you sure had me worried with that cock and bull story. Well, if you think that bill of sale is in the safe now, you still have something to worry about. What's all the kidding about, anyway? All right, Major, keep him covered. And now, Mr. Green, I'll relieve you of that paper. Stand back, McCoy. Give me the paper, Green. Come on, give it to me. So you've double-crossed me, have you, Major? Well, you're not so smart. Don't move, Evans. Always have two or three strings to your bow, Major. You're a fool. We're in a fine jam now. That bill of sale. Come and get it. Back to the car, McCoy. 
boy. Well, we got him, boss. Yes, I see you got him, but what I want to know is, have you got the papers? Well, no. He dropped it when it fell off the car, and it went in that. Are you sure of that? Absolutely. I saw it go down. A fine mess you've made of things. If you'd followed my instructions, he'd never gotten into the house, let alone getting the bill of sale. So you're the eagle, are you, Green? What do you mean by that, McCoy? I know these two men are working for the eagle, and now I see it's you they're taking orders from. Yeah, well, you can think what you like. It won't do you any good. You're going where you won't have a chance to talk. Throw him in the car. Now, if we could only get a hold of Gregory, we'd have the whole thing in our hands. Well, that's very simple. We'll make McCoy phone Gregory to come up to the office. That's a good idea. Get back to town. Come on, get going, you. All right, but ah, don't tip my hat. Get going, I said. Stay tuned. The action is just getting started. Welcome to Little Hollywood, Ohio. We are a film community. Our members have a broad range of experience in filmmaking, from weekend hobbyists to full-time professionals. Our goal is to provide the indie filmmaker the network and resources to bring their projects to reality. With our group projects, Little Hollywood, Ohio, also teaches the art of any filmmaking through hands-on use of each member's skills. Becoming a member is easy. Come to a meeting, sign up. Check us out on the web at www.littlehollywoodohio.com. and tell him to come down here. You're wasting your time, Green. I'll never do that. I'm not fooling with you, McCoy. I'll give you just three seconds to phone. And after you've shot me, who'll telephone Gregory? He will. Have you forgotten that he's a ventriloquist? He can imitate anybody's voice, including yours. Me, double-cross the skipper? Not in a thousand years. One of you two birds is going to phone Gregory, and I don't care which. You know, they can melt lead with one of those things. Wait. Leave him out of this. I'll do what you want. I thought you would. I tell you, Gene, something must have happened to Craig. He can take care of himself, all right, Dad. Hello? Is your father there, Gene? Yes, he's here. What? Well, where is he? I just told you he was here. They took him? Who took him? What's the matter? The asylum doctors grabbed Gregory and took him back to the Red Pass Sanitarium. Well, this gums up everything. We've got to get him out of there. You stay here and watch these two birds till we get back with Gregory. Go ahead. Central, where did that call come from? You must trace it. It's a matter of life and death. 
Craig wouldn't have acted like that if he wasn't in trouble. We've got to find out where he is and try to help him. Hello? Who's talking? Oh, I didn't recognize your voice. Where are Moran Boyle? They've gone out to uh, capture Gregory. I've got McCoy here with me. Yeah. This time I've got everything under control. All right. Goodbye. We've been waiting for you. I'm sorry, gentlemen. I've just received a very important phone call and won't be able to attend the meeting. Hello, Redpath Sanitarium. Well, those two men that brought Mr. Gregory to you will be back soon asking for him. Good. We want to question those men. Mr. Gregory's test proved him sane. They're crooks. Hold them, will you please? Thanks, I'll be there. Now, Mr. Green, you're going to tell us the truth about that bill of sale. You can't make me talk. Don't you think you'd better talk? I... I told you the truth last night. Danby and I bought the rights from a mechanic named Kelly. Frederick P. Kelly. Can you produce this, Kelly, to back up your statement? I don't know where he is. But I know where he is. He's in jail for murdering Clark. Great, that simplifies everything. Phone Gregory and tell him to meet you and Green at the police station and I'll get more on Boyle. We'll have a final showdown. Go on, get back. We've convinced Gregory that we're the rightful owners of the invention. I'm not so sure of that. You know, Gregory was here when the bill of sale was stolen. Has it ever occurred to you that Gregory might have taken it to destroy our proof of rightful ownership? Nonsense. We've heard the last of Gregory. The last of Gregory? Look! That's Gregory's answer. What can we do against this man? Anthem spread written by a phantom plane? And those threats have always been followed by death. I'm through. So am I. Why, are you cowards? Quitters? I'm going to carry on this fight if I have to do it all by myself. Go ahead. I'm getting out of here. All right. I'll take over your shares in this company. If you're willing to let them go at my price. What do you mean? Your price. We're going to police headquarters and don't try any monkey business on the way. I'll have a gun in my pocket covering you. Come on. Don't even think of changing this channel. JDK Roofing, specializing in both commercial and residential since 1995. Including a five-year workmanship warranty and accepting all major credit cards, including Visa, MasterCard and Discover. Just call 330-945-6764. References are available upon request. Welcome to Little Hollywood, Ohio. We are a film community. Our members have a broad range of experience in filmmaking, from weekend hobbyists to full-time professionals. Our goal is to provide the indie filmmaker the network and resources to bring their projects to reality. With our group projects, Little Hollywood, Ohio, also teaches the art of any filmmaking through hands-on use of each member's skills. Becoming a member is easy. Come to a meeting, sign up. Check us out on the web at www.littlehollywoodohio.com. Daddy, Craig's safe. How do you know? Henry just phoned. Craig wants us to meet him at police headquarters right away. Police headquarters? Yes, they've got the eagle.
We hear you got Gregory back again. Gregory? Oh, yes. You're the gentleman who brought him here. If you'll wait just a moment, I'll let you see him. Stick your head out that door. Be sure that motor pull out. better take him along. Never mind him. We got to run for it. Don't let him get away. Drop that gun. In the front seat, Moore. All right, to police headquarters, Boyle, and don't spare this car. Where's Craig? He'll be along pretty soon. What's this all about, Henry? This is the Eagle. The Eagle? We want to talk to Pat Kelly, and in the presence of witnesses. Well, I don't think there's any objection to that. Donlan, go with him. Why, Gene, Skipper Henry, why, it seems like the whole carnival's come over here to see me. Say, what's he doing here? Oh, what's this all about? Oh, just a little matter of business, Pat. Is this the man, Mr. Green? Yes. That's the man who sold me the invention. Well, what are you saying? That Kelly, my old friend, stole my invention? I, I can't believe it. Well, it's a lie. I don't know anything about it. Kelly, you know you signed a bill of sale for the plans. Well, where is this bill of sale you're talking about? Show me my signature. I told you he was lying. He hasn't got anything to back it up. Oh, Skipper. Why should I steal your plans? You've always been my best friend. Pat, are you sure you're telling the truth? My father's whole future depends on what you tell now, Pat. All right. I'll tell everything I know. I did sell the plans to Green, but there was another man who knew about it. And he, and he's been trying to cash in on it. Who was it, Kelly? Speak up, Pat. You've got to tell us. I'm signing my own death warrant. But I'll tell for you, Skipper. The man is... Your lesson. The great thing about convertibles is you can jump off a hill 
and land on the crooks. In the front seat, Moore. All right, to police headquarters, Boyle, and don't spare this car. Thanks for watching, and remember, you are all heroes to me.